Hi, it's Jim with CyberEcon, talking with you more about the Security Plus certification exam. In this video, we'll be looking at domain hijacking, which is part of domain one, compare and contrast types of attacks. So let's jump into the slide deck. This is Security Plus preparation, compare and contrast types of attacks, uh, subdomain 1.2 types of attacks, and in this case, we're looking at domain hijacking. Domain hijacking is also known as domain theft. And this is changing the name of a registered domain without permission. Uh, this is abusing privileges of domain hosting. So what we're going to try to do as the attacker is we're going to try to get into the registrar of the domain and we're going to try to repoint the domain name to a malicious IP address that the, uh, the attacker knows. So let's look. This is done by social engineering so we can do phishing against someone that has credentials to log into that uh, service that hosts the domain uh, maybe dumpster diving finding information in the garbage uh, or maybe we can do good old-fashioned password cracking so password guessing dictionary attacks or brute force attacks all can be helpful here here's what it looks like the attacker gains domain login information they log into the domain registration service, they change the IP information about the site, and then later all DNS servers are updated with this new attacker information. And that's uh, definitely a, a bad thing. So in this case, Hank the Hacker has gained, by malicious means, login information to the GoDaddy server that's hosting SocksByAlice.com, which this is a fake IP address that I've made up, 199.99.99.9. That's the address that is legitimately serving up SocksByAlice.com. So Hank the Hacker wants to change that so that when people go to get Socks by Alice, it actually redirects them to a malicious site. What Hank will do once Hank has logged into GoDaddy.com, for example, is just an example uh, domain service. In this case, it could be any number of domain services that are exploited, but in this case, we're using the example of GoDaddy.com. Uh, he updates the record that Socks by Alice is actually 1.3.2.4, which is a malicious site that Hank the hacker owns and has posted a malicious version of Sox, the Socks by Alice website. GoDaddy.com doesn't know that this is incorrect information. It thinks that Hank the Hacker is supposed to be on the site because he has passed the validity check by using a username and password to get on. And then the GoDaddy service will update all of the DNS servers that it connects with. And eventually all the DNS, DNS servers within the, the earth, around the world, will be updated with this malicious IP address. Anytime somebody goes out to look at SocksByAlice.com, they'll go to this malicious site and more than likely be served up malicious content. I am Jim with CyberEcon. That's a quick look at domain hijacking. Part of what you need to know for the Security Plus exam, uh, please, as always, <laughs> we live by this on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. Uh, when new content comes out, and share this with your friends. Until next time, be safe out there as always.